<clears throat> so, um, uh, yeah, it's me again. Today we signed the moving contract. And, uh, told this trustee woman that we're moving to Aberdeen. Um, which, well, we didn't have to sign a lease at the very least, but, uh, sorry, my screen just went plugged in late because it's 11 30. Uh, okay, now it's in color again, so I know what's happening. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have to, we have to, now we have to be out of here by the 20th uh, of October next, you know, next month, which isn't, you know, it's coming up in like a half hour. Um, so that'll be f not fun at all. That'll suck a lot. Um, you know, and uh, I suppose we've been promised like a bunch of like money from this. From the sale, but we don't believe in you know that it's actually going to happen because in in the divorce agreement, my mom has to pay my dad back for a bunch of stuff, and then there's like stuff in the house that needs to be repaired. Um, and uh, I think I can hear her writing something for me to tell you about. Um, I'm not her mouthpiece. This is all real and it's happening. It's not in her head or mine. This is real. Um. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not gonna get a lot of money um, for this house. I mean, there's like a, a pretty substantial mortgage on it because, like I said, my my dad refinanced the house, um, you know, four times. Um, you know, if he had just even stuck with the original nineteen, you know, the the second refinance in nineteen ninety eight, then this house would be much much closer to being paid off. It would have been paid off in twenty twenty eight. Um, so that's not great. I don't know why he had to refinance in 2012 and then leave my mom like t two years later. And I don't understand why, you know, when you refinance, you know, it doesn't, you don't just, you know, refinance the interest rate to the remaining loan balance. But I guess I don't know how that's supposed to work. That's, that's something for Allison's critiques of capitalism. That's not this. Um... Yeah, and and basically, in order to to pay off my dad, and um, for you know everything that she, he he is that she owes him per the divorce agreement, um, he, we're gonna have to sell the Aberdeen house in order to pay him because my dad is just that greedy. Uh, and uh, I can hear her writing more things, which is why I stopped talking. It's hard for me to talk when somebody's uh giving me stuff to say. That sucks. That I have to say it. So yeah, um uh, so today's um September thirtieth. So we have this is what twenty days to go. Yeah, and Aberdeen was supposed to be uh the an inheritance for my sister and I. Um, you know I mean uh, you know, the uh, housing bubble aside Real estate just goes up in value because there's only so much land. Um, so, you know, my, my, my sister and I would have inherited that house because in my grandmother's will, it, it, it specified that um, if, if, um, if my grandmother, if my, if my mother had died before my grandmother, then my sister and I would have still gotten, you know, um, you know, the house and whatever else my grandmother had. Um... So now if we had to sell that, and that's gone, and my sister and I can't rent that for passive income, which would be phenomenal, because I've, um, you know, we've gotten some estimates for how much it would rent for, um, I don't want to say, it, it would be a, it would be a nice, a nice bit of passive income to have, um, for me and my sister, and she, she doesn't get that, you know, you know, it's just, you know, my dad and my sister, they just never had, I guess, attachments to things like my, my mom and I do, you know, that thing ever meant anything to them. You know, this house means something to me. Is, is, is it not, is it perfect? No. Are there things about it? I would change. Yes. But this house means something to me. And so does the, Ab you know, the house in Aberdeen and even um, the Cape May house that I used to go to before my, my parents got divorced. Um, I mean, I, I, I went up there, you know, the, the, you know, the, summer of the separation and the summer after, but then I stopped going, um, in 2016, because so I just, I just couldn't take the way they were, and, 
I'm worried about making this too much longer, and there's something else. Yeah, um... Just want to make sure you're straight on the facts. Yeah, because of the, the court order from Montgomery County Circuit Court, um, that my dad went, you know, um, that my, that my dad reopened the divorce case to get, to enforce the portion of the divorce agreement, um... You know, Moco, uh, Montgomery County is, is, um, you know, going to evict us if we're not out of here in, um, by the 20th. Because then the house will be listed, and then she has, and then the trustee, she has the power to evict us, to, to call the sheriff to evict us. And it's not like a regular eviction, like if you're renting an apartment, it's like a horrible one. Um, I don't know, if, it's just bad. Um... But at least we have some time. There's not a lot of time. And. But that's a really, really small consolation for what he did to me. For what he's done. And in the end, we're going to be forced to have to do something that we don't want to do. That we never wanted to do. That my, my mom ne never wanted to happen. And, um. I hate having to make these. And I just want this situation to be different. But. You know, we don't have free will in the way that people like to think that we do. Um, yeah, oh, and then today we had a Terminix ex 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 inspector. Um, you know, there are only so many companies that do that, so I'll name the company. Um, you know, come out and look at the house, and apparently the front of the house, like the brick facade or the brick face, uh, it's, they are real bricks. It, it is, a, you know, the brick front is, like, pulling apart from the, um, you know, from the siding, and apparently there's a real threat of, um, termites entering into there and, like, causing all sorts of damage. Now, luckily, we don't have termites, which is great. You know, termites aren't fun, but, um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna end it here, uh, with a countdown of, you know, 20 days to go, 18 days to go, whatever. Um, that's what we set the moving date as. Um, I don't know, I just, nah. I just want to make it through this, and I don't like change, well, I like some change, but not, like, this kind of visceral, like, fundamental change in, like, li living circumstances, you know, anyway, um, you know, th you know this forced change, anyway, um, thank you for watching. I'm going to sign off before um, it runs into a new video, and then I have to put them together, because that's annoying. And I just hate my, that my father's doing this. He has plenty of money. He doesn't need to be doing this at all. He's just, you know, he has he's anxious about money, and he wants to get back at my mom and hurt her. I think I heard my mom or something else that I need to say, because she can say this because no one will believe her, and I'm the only one with even a, a modicum of you know, I guess sympathy that could be generated because everyone hates my mom, except for me. Um, I do love her. So anyway, um, I love you too, Allison. I know you love me. What did you? I just can't believe this. I know. You know, and every time he messaged, he emailed you about the house after your mom died. You were just, you just got so sick you couldn't look at it. You couldn't respond, you couldn't think. And he used that against you. You wait until my mom died to take the house. Yeah. I love you, Mom. Alright, I'm going I'm, I'm sorry I'm not a better mother. No! I'm sorry, the really I'm sorry that you didn't have better people in your life. Thank you. Yeah. No, you. I mean, Mom, you were just one person. I tried. I know you tried. I tried. Mom, I know you tried. I know you I'm gonna sign off, okay? All right, um, I'm sorry. it's okay. Please, Mom, please don't apologize for the actions of others. Um, you know, uh, you know, don't, you know, auto-victim blame yourself or whatever. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign off before it runs into a new video. And I have to combine them so I can post this. Um, so yeah, this just, it all really sucks. I've, I've already done a lot of crying about it, and I just feel so resigned to it, you know. Um, anyway, um, I hope this gets better. I wanted this to get better for me.